Assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope you all are doing fine at homes and enjoying your summer break well it's not the time only to enjoy and relax but also to utilize this precious time wisely in understanding all the topics which you have done in school till the start of your vacations use this time for your english grammar skills you can use this time to do the dictation work of urdu because most of the students find it very difficult to write urdu and also you can use this time in practicing maths from the start of your textbook so let's start our first lesson of maths book 9 with the name of allah we are going to do introduction to matrices in which we will cover definition and uses of matrices rows and columns of the matrix order of the matrix equal matrices and also exercise number 1.1 let's start with the definition and uses of the matrices in 1858 arthur kelly an english mathematician gave an idea of theory of the matrices matrices are used in many branches of science like physics stats math electronics and computer science etc They are most commonly used in computer graphics and in the projection of three-dimensional image into a two-dimensional screen creating the realistic seeming motions. So what are the matrices? A uh, matrix is the singular term and its plural is matrices. How do we write the matrix? It is the formation of a collection of the real numbers which are written in proper rows and columns and enclosed in the brackets. and the numbers which are written inside those brackets and proper rows and columns they are called entries or the elements matrices are always named by the capital letters not by the small letters okay now the next question is what are the rows and columns of the matrix rows are the horizontal lines and columns are the vertical lines The lines drawn on your notebook are the examples of the horizontal lines and vertical lines are the opposite to the horizontal they are straight from the top to bottom so the entries which are written in the horizontal form in the matrix they are called the rows and the entries which are written in the vertical lines they are called the columns of the matrices Now what is the order of a matrix if we are having a matrix C and we highlight the horizontal lines we would be having three rows and if we highlight the vertical lines then we would be having two columns and if we write the number of rows by number of columns then we would be having order of the matrix C you have to write the number of rows first and the number of columns later you will write it 3 by 2 3 by 2 is the order of the matrix c now let's start the exercise and we are going to do question 1 of exercise 1.1 in which you have to write the order of the matrices i am going to solve the first and third part and other parts you have to solve by yourself number 1 is a equals to 2 3 minus 5 6 if you we'll check here here if we highlight the rows so they are 2 also the columns are two in number and if we write order of the matrix a it will be rows by column that is 2 by 2 in c if we highlight the rows it's one only and number of columns are two so order of the matrix c would be 1 by 2 now there comes the equal matrices for equal matrices we must know what is the meaning of equal You know better that two things are exactly same to each other in size, amount, or number. Then those two things are called equal. So same is the case with the matrices. There are two conditions to check if two matrices are equal or not. The first one condition is the order is same or not. The second one is the corresponding entries or the elements are same in these two matrices. If these two conditions are true for these two matrices, then it means two matrices are equal. Now question number 2 of exercise number 1.1 in this question we have to check which matrices are equal so first one is a3 if we check the matrix c there 5 minus 2 these two numbers are subtracting so it means it can give us the answer as 3 so a and c matrices are equal to each other 
now by checking matrix b and d we come to know that b and c these both matrices seem that these two are equal but the corresponding entries are not equal in place of 3 there is 5 and in place of 5 there is 3 so there is one more matrix that is i if we add 3 plus 2 we get 5 so it means b and i matrices are equal now come to the next matrix that is e if you check here e and h matrix these both are equal and if you check the matrix j as well if we add and subtract the entries we get the same answer as e and h it means e h and j these three matrices are equal to each other now the matrix f and g are equal because if we subtract 3 minus 1 we can get 2 and if we add 3 plus 3 we can get 6 and f and g matrix both are equal i hope you understood all these topics which i have explained in today's video if you have any queries or question you can ask me in the comment section and in the next video inshallah i will explain question number three of exercise number 1.1 till then allah hafiz and take care